How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, J.K. And dipped. And I'm back. I got a rant about this episode. I have to. Like, I cannot. To me, this is a very disappointing episode. Like, even though I was super excited to see how it was going to play out, didn't like how it was delivered, guys. I'm going to be really honest with you. So this is my rant. I'm a true fan, like, I love Dragon Ball Super. Don't get me wrong, but I have to rant about this, guys. I have to. So, let me just go ahead and get into it. So, why? Why are these new Saiyans in this other universe can transform to their Saiyan levels quickly? I need explanation, guys. It doesn't make any sense like at all and it's really making me mad it's actually like them turning super saiyan as easily as there are it makes being a super saiyan a little bit watered down like oh he's just a super saiyan so what no 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 what are you talking about an original super saiyan is like you're that you did it you achieved you're <laughs> beyond strength man you are a complete badass now now, and I'm going to bring up this right now. Kale. Kale's, I guess it's confirmed today, is Akalia's sister. And I said that in one of my videos. I'm thinking that's her sister, even though that's her protege. And I was correct. That is her sister. All right. So they were training her, Kaba and Kalia, to become a Super Saiyan. And we all know what she turns into, you know, like a big brawling. Now, I'm thinking, all right, they're going to have to push her to the edge. Like they, I know it's going to probably be in one episode, but they're really going to have to push her to the edge to become that. No. No. They didn't. No, they didn't. She literally turned Super Saiyan, whatever Super Saiyan base form she is, because she got super buff, out of nothing. I'm assuming that's nothing. They had a polite conversation. Nothing she could really get mad at. But I guess she secretly hates Kaba. Kind of like when Broly hit the Kakarai. And she just transformed. She lost control for a little bit. But she is nowhere near as strong as Broly. At all, Kaba was still going toe to toe. So she's just a weak persona. Oh my god. And then, as the mist of all that that was happening. Because she was... Planning to kill Kaba. Kill Kaba. Kalia stepped in and instantly turned Super Saiyan 2. What? Instantly turned Super Saiyan 2? That doesn't even make any sense. What? How? What? How? Like, it doesn't even make any. Oh. They went. Oh my god, man. So she turned Super Saiyan 2 and stopped Kale's Broly. I don't know how many I can do these ones. They're just, they're just going. they just going. Easily. When she turned into Super Saiyan. She deflected the beam. It looked like it was a pretty strong beam from what I could see. Not very happy about that. And also the fact that they have to fill a spot on their back to transform. Like what is that? What? A spot on your back and you unleash all this key energy? Oh my god. It makes sense if it would be the butt because that was where their tail used to be, but their back doesn't even make sense, guys. Does it? Not, not whatsoever. Oh my goodness. I'm so furious. And don't give me that crap that there are a evolutionary saying. I don't care if they're evolutionary Saiyans. They were never pushed to the limits to become a Super Saiyan. So they can't be that evolved just because they don't have a tail. Goku didn't have a tail when he freaking grew up. <laughs> so clearly he evolved <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> what have you. Apparently they wished his tail off, but still he evolved. He didn't have his tail. And then Vegeta. If y'all want to defeat my case, Vegeta never had no wishy thing for his tail to come off. His tail just was, he didn't want his tail anymore. He didn't want that weakness and rip that crap off, I believe. 
in one episode, which is a complete badass. So he evolved, but still didn't turn into a Super Saiyan 2. Man, you had to get levels to turn Super Saiyan 2. It took Gohan's blood, sweat, and tears to get Super Saiyan 2. It took Vegeta and Trunks to train in the time chamber for a whole year to get a post non Super Saiyan 2. But she just does it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm not even going to get started with the Frieza and how Goku came to convince Frieza. I'm thinking he was going to do a little bit more effort to fight with him, but he just played on Goku's curiosity of his species and how strong he can get. And Goku loves the channel. Goku's not gonna turn that down. So apparently, yeah, I was right. Frieza wants to be resurrected again. All right, so rant is officially over. I'm not mad about Frieza. I'm actually excited to see Frieza in the tournament. That's a, that's a cool little plot twist. You all probably got the spoilers and got it spoiled for you. Me, I did. I was like, oh, that's interesting. He's gonna, he's gonna get Frieza. That kind of sucks because I wanted to see Majin Buu, but still, to have a better fighting chance, to be honest, guys, we would probably would have needed Frieza. So, wherever you want to get mad about it, I would have been happy with Cell, but we're probably going to need Frieza for this, okay? We need, and need at least four people that can do God, okay? We Vegeta, we got Goku, we got Frieza, and we got Gohan. And we got Super 17. So, actually, five people that can enter into the God, the God modes right now. So, five out of those ten people, yeah, we need half of them to be God level. Okay, so that makes sense. Instead of four. Five is a better number to me, in my opinion. And the other five, they can do their little strategic strategies to knock them out. But the other five, they need to be on God level. Because these people in the other universes are going to be strong, from what I'm saying. I was saying that their twin universe is going to be a, a, up of a challenge. Now, I still believe that, even though they're turning Super Saiyans left and right. Who knows, the writers may even throw them a God form in the tournament. I'm just letting y'all know that. They may all turn into gods in this tournament. And I'm still going to be upset because you have to train with, with a god to become a god or do the freaking ritual. But they're going to become a god. They're going to. But anyway, um, rant's over. If you like this video and if you agree with me, hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. What are you doing? Subscribe. I do this every other day, okay? All right, and also, my new t-shirt shop is finally open. I have apparels, 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 apparels. Go ahead and check them out. Go cop a shirt. I believe the cheapest shirt on there is like $17. Go ahead and cop that out and support the movement. And if you do, I put, I'll leave a link down below to my Facebook or my email or what have you. You send me a message, would you buy my shirt and you wearing my shirt, I'll put you in one of my videos. All right, um, if you like this, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and 